Hey guys. Oh my god, all these birds. So I'm going to talk about how I became vegan um, and just everything that comes along with it. Um, I'll start out by saying that I started my journey around three years ago. And I started it three years ago, but I took it serious about two years ago because you kind of have to transition into it. It's definitely not something you want to like jump into. Um, the reason I became vegan was for spiritual reasons, um, energy reasons and stuff like that because the cows, they go through a lot and I'm speaking on beef right now, <laughs> but like I'm using an example, like cows, they go through a lot. They have anxiety, they're being raped and tortured and just like thrown around like they're nothing. Um, all that energy goes into the meat. Um, so when you consume that meat, you are getting the energy that the cow had. Um, now the bad frequencies are all going into the meat. You're eating the meat. That's why meat causes anxiety and etc. And think about it like this. The karma of you killing the animal, you eating the animal is now killing you. Um, <laughs> that's like the deepest karma ever as far as meat goes um but that's why i did it and also it just inflames cancer in your body and clogs arteries and whatnot um but i think we all knew that i guess but i don't even think y'all care about the um cancer part because a lot of things cause cancer these days but um milk milk is not fda approved milk has pus in it milk has bacteria in it and milk has blood DNA in it um, that's definitely not something you want to consume um, us as adults we are the only mammals that drink milk past infant stage so we shouldn't even be drinking milk past the age of like what like one <laughs> so um, or two and um definitely not from a cow we're supposed to be getting that from our mothers um whatever births us is where our milk should be coming from if i asked you to drink milk from a dog you definitely wouldn't do it so why are you drinking milk from a cow you know what i'm saying but society has our minds shifted into a direction of you know we're born into thinking cow milk cow milk cow milk to where it's now normal think about if you were just born yesterday and the world said you know dog milk is what you're supposed to drink you automatically think okay that's okay you know what I mean like you have to think about things like that and that's how a lot of things are in society anyways but um yeah that's milk and um that covers the milk and meat part of why I definitely don't do it I have seen a lot of change now oh my god all these birds keep flying past me um I definitely seen a change as far as if you're trying to do weight loss that works um I didn't do it for weight loss at all I'm already as small as it is but um clear clear skin um you know you just feel healthier you definitely get sick less I rarely get sick unless I catch it from something or like breathing in cold air or something you know but as far as internally I'm super clean and pure and it feels good everything I eat is plant-based drink plant-based all that so to know everything from nature is fueling me like it feels good and to um just remember like eat to live don't eat to die a lot of things are processed and your body is a living organism and it's it's your largest living organism like your whole your whole body and um just to treat it right because while you're still here you might as well right um a lot of y'all wonder why you guys have bad skin or acne or even bad hair and it's literally mainly because i mean it could just be your skin type sometimes or your hair type but um what you eat has a lot to do with it and what you drink has a lot to do with it now if you're just drinking 
and eating junk food and soda and stuff like that, what are you doing to really nourish the cells in your body that make up the composure of your skin and the complexity of your hair and et cetera? So, which the answer is nothing. It does nothing. So when you're actually eating fruits and vegetables and things that are like formulating a whole healthy <laughs> aura with you and just everything in your body like it definitely definitely makes a difference so that's just something to think about too um a lot of people ask me what do i eat on the go because i travel a lot um a lot of times when you're on the road I mean, it, it, it's real country around here, like in North Carolina, but I think when you're traveling anywhere long distance, it gets pretty country. And all there really is, is like Bojangles, Waffle House, McDonald's, if you're on the East Coast, like that's all there is. And like random little gas stations. So I survive off fries usually. They have more plant-based like cookies inside of the um, gas station these days. Um, but me, Honestly, I could drink a smoothie in the morning or afternoon because I don't really eat breakfast like that. I I don't know. I'm not like a huge breakfast person. Um, but if I have a smoothie, like I'm good. I could drink three smoothies the whole day and like I'm literally good. I think also being vegan teaches you like how to, of course, be more stricter with your diet, but have more like, what is the word? discipline you are disciplined to like the core because you can't eat a lot of stuff even desserts and um this is coming from someone where like my favorite dessert used to be cheesecake um and etc like cheesecake is super milk based <laughs> so cannot eat that anymore um but yeah you know what I had a conversation with my mom the other day because she's kind of getting more into not eating meat because of the fact of the reality of it isn't it weird to think like just because we decorate certain things it looks better like you can have chicken nuggets and it comes from a chicken that's like <laughs> if they showed you how they kill it and etc and gave you meat you might not want to eat it but since you know due to packaging commercials and kids looking happy in the commercials it looks so it looks more okay and etc same thing with hot wings you know you're just covering the meat just so it can taste good if it really wasn't for like seasonings and stuff like things wouldn't meat wouldn't taste good i literally have eaten beef that tastes disgusting I've eaten chicken that looks gray, like, not eaten, but I've seen chicken that looks gray, like, when I was in high school. I did, I remember I spent my whole senior year of high school not eating their food because, of course, my name ain't conspiracy here for nothing. Like, the conspiracies behind the milk and the food, nah, I'm not with it. And I know, like, in prison and jail, they inject food with stuff I don't doubt it if they do it to the schools I really don't and that's another thing like think about how they don't really give kids like water bottles or like that much juice to drink with your lunch at school they give them milk they're training us to be addicted to milk be addicted to cheese all that um yeah it's disgusting but I remember I ate or I smelled the chicken once at school when I was a senior in high school and it smelled like a dead chicken like I kid you not it didn't smell like good old chick-fil-a it smelled like a whole dead chicken I was like nah <laughs> and it had barbecue sauce on it it smelled like dead chicken with barbecue sauce like that's where it really kind of traumatized me when I was a senior in high school but <laughs> um yeah that's just some stuff to think about um, it's a lot more. If you do a lot more research and watch more videos and documentary, I'm sorry, I keep looking away. There's like birds flying everywhere. But um, yeah, just do more research, learn more about it. And um, you know, if you're interested in actually doing it, I think it's a good path. It isn't for everyone, for sure. Um, but it definitely is an interesting journey. But 
you feel really good about it once you're like getting more into it you definitely feel good about it um larger cities have more vegan restaurants also if you want to know um small towns don't really have vegan restaurants but you can make alternatives like chipotle just don't get no meat um subway sometimes you can get like a veggie um sandwich I'm trying to think where else chili's has a bean burger there's a lot more bean burger options um carolina ale house i just ate there they have one um is it red robin red robin has one um there's definitely more options these days with the bean burgers i love bean burgers i actually had one in downtown raleigh at this burger spot and it, it was like chickpea chickpea <laughs> i don't know how to say it chickpea um burger and it tasted just like a country fried steak it was it was really good um yeah i'm going i'm going left right now because i'm talking about the food but yeah like comment subscribe tell me what you want to hear any more questions and i will be more than happy to answer them um thanks for watching my video